Hey guys, it's Colton with Autonomous Defense, and today I've got another product review for you. So this is a review on the JP Enterprise Silent Captured Buffer System. It is a buffer system replacement for the AR-15 that aims to reduce the amount of vibration and noise created when the bolt carrier goes back, hits the buffer system, and feeds in the next round. Now. I've been using this for a couple of months now. I'm probably around like six or 7,000 rounds total on it. And I started to run into problems with it this last weekend and when I was training on doing quite a bit of shooting. Now, the problem I ran into was the way that this is set up, right? It's got these weights right here at the front of it and there are O-rings in between each one of these weights the o-rings start to break down around five to seven ish thousand rounds depending on what sort of cartridge you're using because you can throw this into like pccs that are chambered for nine millimeter using the ar platform and also of course like 556 five, and what started to happen was as the o-ring started to deteriorate and break down it was causing failures to feed with my gun because the rubber from the o-ring was getting caught in between the tube and the actual weights themselves causing friction now this system does accomplish what it is setting out to do as far as like mitigating a lot of the noise and smoothing out the reciprocation of the action a little bit but it's not too terribly noticeable compared to the normal system that's in an ar-15 and for two hundred dollars it doesn't exactly make a lot of sense to me personally. If you're experimenting or you got some build in mind where you think this might be a beneficial thing to add to it, all power to you. But the second this started becoming a temperament and causing reliability problems for my gun, I kind of lost interest because the price of $200 to create another failure point in my rifle is not a very good thing in my mind. So I contacted them to ask them about the O-rings because, okay, it's starting to split. What happens if I just rip it out? That way it's not causing that friction. I don't have to worry about it. You know, the other ones in this line breaking down and causing friction and causing failures to feed. Well, JP said that if you were to rip out these O-rings, eventually what would happen is the impact at the very front head of this would cause the screw holding it all together to snap. It's a bit of a problem because now your recoil system is trying to fall apart the second you open up the gun or you've got bits and pieces of it flying inside your action while you're actually doing the shooting part. The other problem is if you wanted to replace these O-rings, that would require you to break the Loctite on the head of the screw, replace those O-rings, put it all back together and let it sit for like a day so the Loctite can cure properly. All this is just more maintenance added to a gun where it didn't have it prior to just having like a spring and a buffer. The other problem is if you follow their directions, they tell you to make it easier to take this in and out of your buffer tube, you will remove the buffer retaining pin. Since I did that, I now have to break the stakes on my castle nut, get the tube off, put a new retaining pin in, do the whole thing all over again and restake the castle nut. So it's easier to take this in and out but this part failed and I can't just readily throw in a spring and buffer in it and it's going to retain it anymore. It's trying to, it would try and pop out every single time I opened up the gun. So all that is kind of an issue uh, for me. You know, it's cool in concept. It does do what it sets out to do. The gun had no problem running or feeding up into that six to 7,000 round part, but I don't exactly like having more failure points in my rifle for what is essentially a slight difference in vibration in the tube. And honestly, the vibration in the tube might help you shoot better, right? Because if you start getting into rhythm and cadences of fire, the twang of an AR, or the kerchunk of an AK kind of makes it a little bit easier to tune your mind to your trigger finger and what you're doing because you can feel it a little bit more. So. That's really all I have to say about the product. Um, neat idea, but the fact that it is just causing more problems for the gun longer term makes me lose interest in it very quickly.